Hello my SOC universe and welcome to part 6, the final part of this FCON jersey review for 2022. It's a group that last time around, except for the first thing that we're talking about, which is the Gambia, was the same as we had at the previous FCON and it was an outstanding group overall. Let's see if it will work out this time as well that way. Uh, I am wearing a yellow Mali shirt, which we will not see this time around. Uh, and I also put up my Tunisia and the other Mali shirt that I have, just to make a few points along the way. Again, I will run through all the teams in alphabetical order, uh, which means we will actually start with uh, the Gambia, where I don't have an actual picture. I only have this graph from Sala. A uh, German company who released this uh, rather plain shirt for the Gambia. If you don't know where the Gambia is, it's basically uh, Senegal is Pac Man and Gambia is in between uh, there. Just look, look at it, it's just around the, Gamb uh, the Gambia River where Senegal is French, the Gambia is English. Go figure, colonialism. Uh, <sighs> I cannot say too much about this jersey. I do like that there's some texturing uh, below the two um, red, uh, uh, not uh, the white lines, which are kind of representing the flag, if we look at it. But I actually would wish that we would go all flag here, you know, make this blue and the, the, the lower part green. Wouldn't this be a nice jersey? That one, rather dull, I gotta say. Uh, Five stars, I think five stars. Um, and here's the concept art for the away jer uh, jersey. Yeah, not much more to say. Uh, there's some chevrons in there. Great. I four stars. It's not bad, but it's nothing special, especially for an African jersey. And you know, you have such a colorful flag, and then you. Uh, it's disappointing. Let's leave it at that. Let's see how we suck. We go further to what has been most of the time uh, the nation that has the most spectacular kits. I own two Mali kits. I mean, this one was the first one iteration with the uh, big eagle up there. This one, the second one, still my favorite jersey of 2019. Uh, the eagle is just super spectacular. And they just took that idea one step further. And suddenly we have now green as a home color. Now. Let me, I can see why there's a need for green. I, I totally can see it because yellow and white are not very complementary colors. However, it's a little bit changing too much the team's identity. And, I, and while I am very happy that they continue with the bold eagle pattern, I have to say the yellow eagle doesn't look as good as the green eagle. Um, and also the striping is totally off for me. Uh, what I like about this one and the one up there, that you have at least a Mali flag. Yes, it, the, here it's broken up, here it is, you have the full flag. Here mm, it kind of gets lost. I mean, you have the nice patterning up top, then you have a green on green on green, and then you have uh, yellow, then again green and then red, which kind of looks more like there's a Lithuania flag in there. To me, a total loss of uh, the co the coloring doesn't make sense. Let's put it that way. If you get rid of the lower green stripe and then maybe do the coloring like you had up here, I think I could get more on board with it. But I, there's something completely weird. On top of that, I really think that the eagle in yellow doesn't have the same impact as a dark eagle on a lighter shirt. Uh, it just looks totally odd. I mean, especially the beak in it, it looks totally odd to me. So uh, there are a few things that, are, uh, that I really do not like. I mean, again, I'm not against the choice of green. I think it does make sense, although I do moan. I got this because for the AFCON because I want to have a home jersey. Yeah, and then they come out with the green one because I thought, yeah, maybe it would be nice to have a yellow one. It was not the only, only reason. Again, I find this design rather spectacular uh, and I just wanted to have the other one. This one, kind of cold about, honestly. Uh, so yeah, uh, for trying and having the eagle on their pole pulls it up, Airness usually doing a good, good job, but I cannot, go. I honestly want to go four, but just because there's a big ass eagle up there, I'm going to go five. Um, the away jersey is much better and it's a much cleaner look at here. We actually see now the colors of the flag and it's, uh, augmented by having the pattern up top. So. This one looks spectacular. I'm still not sure why we need also the patterning in the other green stripe, but this one I do like a whole lot. 
I gotta say. Is it better than that one? I don't think so, because what makes this one great um, is the fact that it's just the eagle pattern with the flag. Here, the green shoulder yoke a little bit diminishes that feeling to me. Uh, the eagle doesn't stand out as much, however, it makes it very pleasing. It's also, there was a whole lot more texturing on here. It's kind of a silvery shirt, but this one is just plain white. It's not a bad shirt. It's a, actually a pretty awesome jersey, uh, but you know, that did better. I'm gonna give nine stars and yeah, this, this one actually saves Mali and I hope that we'll see them a whole lot more in this one than in the green jersey. Then we go to another team that actually had a pretty awesome home jersey last time around, which is Mauritania. Um, I think a neighboring country to Mali as far as I know. Uh, I gotta say, uh, it's again AB Sports. Um, who kind of a rip, rip, ripping off a little bit Nike last time, to time around, and probably this time again. Um, this time they go just for color specs and this seems to be the overarching team you see a lot of teams that just use color specs i like the green shirt i like the yellow down but i don't see that really in the flag of mauritania so this is my uh bit, bit of a gripe there uh but other than that it's a pretty nice jersey um if the middle was red i think i could live more with it i really loved the last time when they had all the flames come coming up here yeah not quite there I'm gonna do what I do, you, you usually for very, um, you know, inventive shirts, but I'm trying too much. I'm gonna go with seven here. Uh, we have a few more jerseys. The uh, away jersey actually uh, does the same thing, but here you have uh, white with the green and the red, and that actually looks a whole lot better, don't you think? I really like that one better. Uh, is Does it push it above? I think it does. I'm gonna go eight here. And then the third jersey does something completely different. Uh, takes a color that comes out of left field in a way and then also yellowish gold. Uh, so that takes it a little bit down for me. But on the other side, I do like that it's a kind of a unique jersey. We have this swirling, this weaving pattern. Maybe we can interpret some sand dunes in there. Maybe even the Eye of Africa, which I think is in Mauritania, is in there as well. Uh, so it makes it interesting. Again, I'm gonna go seven here. And then we're at our last team, which of course the seeded team in this group, which is Tunisia, again with Kappa. Uh, last time they had this awesome black eagle shirt, which I totally regret not getting. <laughs> I admit to you, uh, I totally regret not getting that one, although it was never used. Uh, that one I would I would have loved. Um, again, my problem with the Tunisia crest, I like this one. The, the, I like the emblem, but the wings on it, it looks like the eagle flies like this. It doesn't look good. It really doesn't look good. Uh, that's my only uh, gripe. I actually like that there's a little bit, you know, um, the pattering is kind of this Arab style pattering, which I can totally get on board with. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's your plain Kappa shirt. It goes more or less the Gabon way, but I actually want to give this a little bit more because I like that they have now a red home jer jersey and I would like to have a red Tunisia jerseys as well, just to add a little bit more color there because you know, a whole lot of white jerseys uh, there. I mean, oh, there's a green one that I'm um, there. Yeah, there are a whole lot of white jerseys. Yeah, Algeria is up there as well. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go eight here. I actually do like this one, uh, despite it not being super spectacular. And then the uh, white jersey is the same thing, but I have to say the pattern gets a little, a little bit lost on there. So I'm gonna drop down to seven. And there we have it, the entire AFCON uh, jerseys are reviewed. Again, I want to know for this group how you like the jerseys in this one. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me where you uh, agreed and disagreed with them. Subscribe for more videos like these or anything that I do on the AFCON. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!